All right, good evening, folks. Happy Friday. It is June 29th. Um, it's roughly 8.30 p.m. I have no shame in telling you that my day is done. It was done just a little while ago. I am all cleaned up. Um, got on a got on a t-shirt, pair of shorts, Ranger. I have a uh, cooler of Diet Cokes on ice, and I am gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go breathe a little bit. If that makes me wrong, I don't care to be right. It's Friday evening. It's been a long week. It's been a long two months. Um, fully accepted. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for a little scoot tonight, and uh, all's well. Okay. Um, shout out Friday, but first, we are on what we call the South Hill. You're gonna see what was done today, and this was all the bailing that was done today. This, this, this was it. Uh, very happy with the quality, extremely happy with the quality. Quantity surprised the heck out of me. It really did. You're staring at about 25 bales. You got the lonely soldier right there. 25 bales. Very surprised, but it's okay. There's a lot of hay to come yet. Um, the quality is exceptional. I, I, I can only vision the cattle come December, January, February, feeding out these bales and then basically running you over to get to them. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, yeah, it was a good day. Got some other stuff done. Had to run some errands. I even, uh, you know... Bailing and all that stuff was done, uh, ah, it was done by 3.30 today. And um, spent the rest of the day kind of catching up on a couple other little things, including the lawn, for God's sakes. Jesus, I've been uh, doing a little neglecting around the house, but, you know, that, that, that comes with, uh, that's the nature of the beast. And got ahead a little bit and then, uh, yeah, shut it off, cleaned up, even shaved. And uh, here I am. Okay, uh, what's on the plate the rest of the weekend? We've got rain coming Sunday. Guaranteed rain. They've been calling for it for uh, the last three, four days for Sunday. Actually, the weather pattern had changed, but I'll spare you the details. We got rain coming Sunday. Well, folks, here's the deal. I guess we're getting a little cocky, and we're doing a little bit of gambling. This field that we're in right now was ready to bail 28 29 hours later now that I don't know if that's normal for anybody else in this part of the country or world it's not for us uh, the world we live in here you cut one day let's just say a Monday you cut on a Monday after dew dissipates and everything else let's say you cut on a Monday at about 10 a.m. go like heck it sits the remainder of that day perfect weather now it sits the following day. You do not touch it. On a Wednesday, perfect world, 11 a.m., probably noon, um, you rake it and then, of course, bale it once it dries out. Well, let me tell you something about the weather we're having. It's dry. It's breezy, windy. You can probably hear it in, uh, the, in the audio. If you do, I apologize. Um, it's hotter than all heck. I mean, it's a, a you-know-what dropper here right now. It's just disgusting. From my neck of the woods, we're looking at almost 97 degrees tomorrow. So, we're doing some gambling. Uh, because of the condition of this field and how it could have been bailed earlier, we, uh, we dropped uh, south of the barn uh, this morning. Dad did. And uh, we are gambling that it can be bailed up by about 6 p.m. tomorrow, raked by about 3.30, 4 o'clock, and then uh, start to bail by 6. So that's the agenda this week. Uh, rain on Sunday. I do have to take off on Sunday, Sunday mid-morning. I have to head down to uh, Chicagoland um, for just about two and a half days, and then home for 4th of July week. 
Let's talk about 4th of July week. Folks, right now, you are standing, you're watching me stand, on one of the greatest fireworks display areas you've ever seen in your, in your entire life. You probably can't see it on the video, but um, I, I can see some things back there of Bark River, Bark River, Michigan. It is only about a mile and a half. <clears throat> Bark River, Michigan is a small town, a real small town. But uh, our Lions Club, who does a great job, and we host the UP Off-Road 100, Bark River, Michigan. It's a huge deal. Long story short, we are fortunate enough to have a Lions Club that is, uh, works hard enough and smart enough that uh, we're able to put on a fireworks show fit for a king. And uh, you can see them perfectly up here. So I will be up here Wednesday night of next week. I can guarantee you that. I'm only hopeful I have a pretty little lady by the name of Krista by my side, which I will. She's coming home, uh, home for a little bit. So anyway, okay, enough of this jibber jabber. It's showed out Friday. Folks, I thought a lot about it today. I'm going to give you my personal top 10. Um, this is my top 10 channels that I definitely concern myself with. I, I keep tabs on <clears throat> keep tabs on new videos, the content, um, everything else. <clears throat> I, I thought a little bit about doing this because I'm sure there's going to be a couple people out there that are going to get a little bit butt hurt that I didn't mention their channel name. Folks, my apology, but I don't apologize. I mean, this is this is my top 10. Uh, these are the channels that I look for in the morning after a little feeding's done. I'm on coffee time and writing out some bills. I go through the channels and see who did what. And uh, anyway, my top 10. Anybody who takes any disrespect towards this with other channels that you have, I, I'm sorry, but this is this is my top 10. I'm only very hopeful that I'm one person's top 10 out there, so I know how you feel. I did have to write this down. I'm not that smart. First of all, before I start the top 10, yeah, this video's dragging on. I've had that kind of a day. I'm getting a little fancy. Actually, there's nothing fancy about me. Maybe a clean t-shirt once in a great while. It doesn't have any sweat marks on the, on the arms. If anybody ever wants to have a good beer, a great beer, as far as I'm concerned, on an extremely hot, miserable, yucky day, and your day's over with, Michelob, ultralight cactus lime. Just my thing, sorry. My tough guy status probably just went away, didn't it? My top 10, how farms work. Don't dislike this channel because of how many followers, subs, subs he has, and everything else. He's grown very successful on his YouTube channel. There's a reason for it. He does a damn good job and always has for years. He actually cares about what he's doing. He puts a lot of thought into it, his heart's into it. Um, Ryan Custer, Kister, I believe that's correct, Ryan Kister, How Farms Work, that is number one. When I started getting into YouTube, that was my go-to channel. Unbelievable job, awesome. I look forward to every video that he puts out there. He is so full of information, and the information that he gives is, is, is spoken about so well. And great operation, of course, with him, his brother Travis, and then his father, Dwayne, um, funny story, <laughs> I'm actually Facebook friends with his father, Dwayne. I don't know, that's pretty cool for a guy that likes simple pleasures. All right, how farms work? Awesome. One Lonely Farmer, love him, hate him, doesn't matter. He's got a great channel, great content, great explanations. He's funny. Um, I love it, love it. Um, Wes Pandy. One Lonely Farmer, awesome job. Sowers Cattle Company, Sowers Cattle Co., uh, that's the channel name. 
If you're not subscribed or don't pay attention to Sour's Cattle Co., I don't really know what to tell you. You're missing out. Um, Will, Will Sowers. Great job, awesome equipment, great information, great conversation. Uh, there is some humor in there, here and there. I caught, a, uh, I caught a live feed not too long ago, we'll say a week and a half ago. And it was late, it was late at night. He was cutting all night, mowing down. Um, great equipment, my God. And uh, I tell you what, I never laughed like that before bedtime since they quit um, having new episodes of Seinfeld. So anyway, Sowers Cattle Company. Cow Camp 87. Uh, why he does not have 50,000 subs, I don't know. I thoroughly enjoy him. Thoroughly enjoy him. Great content. I love his operation. He, this sounds rude, but likes to keep things simple. He's a uh, he's like a simple operator, but awesome. Uh, I like the way that he's, he explains things, goes about things, and he just, he does a great job. He's one of the very first channels I started watching with YouTube as well. Uh, Cow Camp 87. Northern Wisconsin Farming, I've grown to love that channel. Uh, Brad Larson, who's just my neighbor over to the west a little bit. I hope this, uh, hope this wind isn't screwing us here. Uh, great job, great guy funny hard hard working list goes on and on I think it's kind of nice too because he's not too terribly far away from me Brad Larson with Northern Wisconsin farming at one time it was Larson Valley Farms it's L LFV Larson LVF Northern Wisconsin farming great job folks for God's sakes go check them out cattle market summary anybody in the cattle business that actually pays attention on a weekly basis instead of just fall and spring sale times. Anybody that does not pay attention to cattle market summary, you're mistreating yourself. Uh, Corbett Wall, uh, I want to say he's an employee with um, um, ta -ta 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 -ta. DV Auctions, I believe. He puts on probably about three to four videos a week. It's no nonsense. If you're looking for entertainment, forget it. It's true blue. Here it is. This is what's going on in this country and uh, the futures and, and what prices are. He even gives some reports on um, last week's or the other day's sale. Awesome job. Cattle market summary. Folks, if you're in the cattle business, for God's sakes, go check out some free information. My God. Dembeck Farms. Stephen Drake with Dembeck Farms. I've grown a uh, watch for new videos. Great job. Um, I want to say he's, he's, he's a smaller operator just like us. That, that That's not disrespectful. He's a smaller operator just like us. There's a lot that can be related with um, Mr. Drake with um, Dembeck Farms. Um, he, he's funny as all hell, does a great job. This man works six days a week, 20 hours a day, and on Sunday, he probably limits it to about 15 hours, for God's sakes. Uh, it's, it's a channel worth watching. Uh, there, there's some good humor in there, a lot of good information. Um, Folks, do yourself a favor, check him out. Why he does not have 25,000 subscribers is beyond me. Folks, let's help him out, get to his channel, and um, help him out a little bit, get some comments going, and I, I absolutely love that channel. Good dude. Steven Drake, we need to have a beer no later than uh, spring of next year. Period, end of story. Okay, folks. That was uh, eight channels. I'm now going to reiterate three channels that are not farming related. A couple of them kind of are actually. Um, in my next life, if I'm lucky enough, I will be a logger. I love logging, cutting in the woods, firewood, um, you name it. I, 
the equipment. I love it. That chipper guy, awesome. He's by neighbor to the south, just below the bridge, downstate Michigan. Great job, very good guy, family guy. Um, uh, lots of good information, lots of powerful videos with some powerful, highly expensive equipment, my God. And uh, just has fun. He, he's not out to do anything else, but just have fun and make his day go by and great explanations check it out that chipper guy i don't care if you're in the logging or not it's a channel worth checking logger wade logger wade i don't know if i want to have a beer with you or not to be honest with you you seem a little too crazy for me but i like crazy logger wade does a good job great channel some good information a very entertaining channel folks do yourself a favor check him out cotton top three awesome um, Cotton Top 3 runs a, an amazing logging operation. I'm a little embarrassed here. I want to say it's in, uh, you know what, I don't even want to say where it's from because if I'm wrong, I'm the fool. Cotton Top 3, awesome operation, unbelievable logging equipment, and just an all-around pretty good dude, it seems like to me. Uh, he does uh, a lot of weekend work around his house, a lot of brush hogging. He's got a little bit of some farm equipment, um, as Logger Wade does as well. He does a little farming on the side, I think, uh, I, I think for some family members or whatnot, but uh, good stuff. So, real quick, how farms work. One Lonely Farmer, Sowers Cattle Co., Cow Camp 87, Northern Wisconsin Farming, Cattle Market Summary, Dembeck Farms. That chipper guy, Logger Wade, Cotton Top 3. Folks, that's my top 10. My personal top 10. And uh, everybody else, great job. I don't just watch 10 channels. I probably watch easily 30, 40, or 50 of them. I think everybody does a real good job. And, you know, we all do it because we like to do it and make this life a little more entertaining, a little more fun, something to look forward to. That's why I do it. <clears throat> Um, and uh, yeah, anybody that wasn't mentioned, don't get butt hurt over it. All right, it's just this is my personal top 10. So, folks, it's Friday evening, I gotta get going. This video's been long enough. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay, and I hope you got a really nice week to come with the 4th of July week. Um, I know I got hay to make, but there's always time for a little bit of fun too. And uh, who knows, um, you might even see a fantastic fireworks show, um, 4th of July night. I'll probably, probably YouTube it. And uh, other than that, stay tuned for a video tomorrow at the absolute, absolute least. Uh, Bale and a little bit of hay behind the barn. And uh, I also need to pay my garden attention. There needs to be some weeding, which means um, rototilling to me, rototilling. And uh, I got to put some more stakes up around that fence. So anyway, that's it, folks. Have a fantastic Friday, a fantastic weekend. Stay tuned to some other videos, and I uh, wish everybody well. I really do. Talk to you sooner and later.